Happy Friday. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, uh, I have finished your uh, article approvals, so you should have the uh, results of that in the inbox. I know some of you have been emailing back and forth with me. I've tried to get everybody caught up to date, so if you have an outstanding email that hasn't been answered, uh, send again. I think I've gotten everyone taken care of, but I just want to make sure that I have that done before I leave the office today. Uh, I am at work on your ad evaluations. I am going to get those graded for you as quickly as I can. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the article evaluation that you're working on. So some reminders, you are working with the scholarly article that you've chosen. And the two things that you're asked to do for stage one are to summarize and analyze. And these are two different things. So what you should be doing in your summary is giving a brief discussion of the main ideas in this article. So you are just telling me essentially in a few sentences what that article is about. So some good things to focus on would be um, paraphrasing the writer's thesis and any main points that are included. You don't want to include non-essential details at this point. Remember the idea with summary is to give the main ideas and to shrink that down and to make it something uh, smaller. I tell students, think about what you would want another student to tell you if this had been assigned a reading and you hadn't done it and class was about to start. What would be the most important things for you to know from that piece of writing? Then in the analysis, what we are doing is looking at how the writer delivers that information to his or her audience, or in some cases, the writers deliver that information. A lot of scholarly articles are written by a group of authors. So you want to look at things like the word choice that's used, what kind of research is used to back it up, uh, what's the tone of the article, what's the organization like. These are more of those really surface things. Uh, so what you'll be doing also is giving examples from the article to back the assertions that you're making. If you say that the writer uses complicated wording, then you need to quote an example from the article that deals with that complicated wording. Uh, and that's how we're going to develop this out. I encourage you, you know, to make your point. For instance, I said complicated wording or a high level of diction or something like that. Give an example from the text and then discuss what effect that has on the reader. Remember, too, that these are scholarly articles, so for the most part, the audience should be someone who's well-versed in the subject, probably another researcher or an educator in the field. Remember that the subject of the article is not the same as the audience. Some of you are working with articles that talk about children. Children are not going to be reading these, okay? Remember that the audience is who this article is directed to. All right, so I will be getting those from you all on Tuesday. Remember, our due date is Tuesday this week uh, because it's a holiday. Though, to be frank with you, I've been considering moving the first due date of the week, or I'm sorry, the last due date of the week to Tuesday because that seems to be working well. So I'll see how things go this week and how my grading flow is, and I may make that a permanent change. Uh, if you have any feedback on that, feel free to let me know if you think Tuesday would be better. We could uh, have maybe Tuesday, Friday deadlines instead of um Thursday, Monday. So I uh, hope that you all have a good weekend. Enjoy your day off on Monday. I will be checking email. So for those of you who are working over the weekend, I will try to get back to you. I will not be in the office on Monday. I'll be at home with my daughter uh, who will be out of school, though college is still in session. So for those of you who want help from the Writing Center, you'll still be able to get help from them, but I won't be in for my office hour that day. So I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope that things are going well for you and I will get your uh, evaluations graded as soon as I can. Take care.